Here's a new letter you may get from the Treasury if you tell them, I want to start repayments. Failure to provide the information requested with supporting documentation will result in additional collection action. There's a new letter and form from the Treasury for certain EIDL borrowers, especially those that are having trouble repaying. This comes on the heels of our major EIDL relief and forgiveness petition. And there's a new $10,000 grants program from American Express. I'll talk about those three things in this this quick video. As always, thanks so much for subscribing, turning on alerts, so you never miss out on anything funding or business related, things that can help you and your business. Before you do anything, go check out the latest grants and fundings on the Skip dashboard, helloskip.com, Skip in the app stores or Google Play, or the link in the description. American Express is giving out $510,000 grants for certain businesses. That's an incredible program. I'm gonna do an in-depth video on that later this week. Another reason to make sure you're subscribed. And we have a Skip $10,000 grant due at the end of this week. You can always scroll down to fundings due soon. These are the ones due within the next two weeks that you should know about. Think about this. You're missing out on millions of dollars right now. So search Skip in the app stores or Google Play or go to helloskip.com. Join the nearly 1 million other entrepreneurs and small business owners who are finding out about and quickly applying for new funding opportunities for their business. This we were alerted to recently, you know, for the EIDL loan program. Coming out of the CARES Act in 2020 started by the SBA, 30-year loans up to $2 million. 4 million folks across the U.S. received one of these. Many of you are struggling. We started this petition last week after a lot of careful consideration, after talking with thousands of business owners. And if you want to read some of these stories, highly encourage you to go to eidl.me. It's really powerful. These are service businesses, product businesses in your cities and towns across the US. These are one person businesses or people with 100 employees and everything in between. People sharing their stories about why it's so difficult now to make repayments for this EIDL loan and why they think Congress and the SBA should do what they can to either eliminate the interest, do partial forgiveness or do full forgiveness a lot of you are putting down what you're advocating for in the comments at EIDL.me and in the comments of this video. Would love to hear and I'll highlight a few in the next video. Here's why this is so important. This is the 2023 small business profile from the SBA. There's now 33.3 million small businesses in the U.S. That's 99.9% .9 of all U.S. businesses. And these businesses employ over 61 million people. That's 46% of all U.S. employees. Think about those numbers for a second. This is 27 million businesses without employees, 5 million that have less than 20 employees, 700,000 that have between 20 and 499 employees. That's the bucket of all small businesses across the U.S. You can see the categories here as well. And again, if you want to support between 10 to 15 percent of all of those small businesses who've taken an EIDL loan and who are potentially struggling, who may have to shut down or who have already shut down, go to EIDL.me. Take a read here and you can also see the letter that we're sending to the Senate and House Small Business Committees. And speaking of, for folks who've been sent from the SBA to the Treasury for EIDL collections, here's a new letter you may get from the Treasury. If you tell them, I want to start repayments, it'll have your Treasury case number and the letter says, we have been informed that the business entity responsible for the above referenced debt to the SBA is unable to fully pay at this time. In order to evaluate the ability of the business to pay its debt, we are requesting that you or the authorized business representative complete the enclosed collection information statement for businesses. This collection information statement must be fully completed and signed by you or an authorized representative. You must include a copy of the business entity's most recently filed federal income tax return and any other pertinent financial information which will provide evidence of the business entity's financial position. Failure to provide the information requested with supporting documentation will result in additional collection action. Among other things, we will refer this debt to a private collection agency. Please return the completed and signed collection information statement within 15 days from the date of this letter. It gives the address and a phone number if you need it and the form. This is the commercial debtor 
financial statement. This is not a personal financial statement. It's the exact opposite. So all your personal stuff set aside. This is just about your business assets, but this is not financial or legal advice. Take a read through if you have questions talk to someone about it. This is for folks who've been sent to the treasury and can't get in SBA hardship accommodation. So you're trying to settle the debt with the treasury directly. If you're in this situation, I'd love to hear in the comments. If you want to sign the petition, go to eidl.me. Most importantly, go take a read through some of these stories. There's a thousands. You're not going to get through all of them, but it's powerful to hear directly from these business owners. Again, these may be businesses you know in your town or city. And of course, don't forget to take a look at these new grants especially these $510,000 grants. Or if you want other financing for your business, there's some great new funding options here. Thanks for subscribing. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.